Superman star David Cornsweet has received the highest honor of praise from James Gunn ahead of his DCU debut next year. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. Finally, James Gunn's new DCU comes with updates from several projects that have emerged. The DC Studios co-president recently attended New York Comic Con, where he gave an update on several upcoming projects, including a Superman movie starring David Cornswit in the titular role. During the event, Gunn thought about working with Cornswit. Gunn paid tribute to his leading man, who was bound to become a cornerstone of his new world. However, one of the phrases Gunn used to praise Corn Sweet will definitely not please Henry Cavill fans. The latter was ousted from the role of Man of Steel with Gunn instead choosing to cast Corn Sweet. Here's what James Gunn said about David Corn Sweet that might upset Henry Cavill fans. DC Studios co-president James Gunn was in attendance at New York Comic Con, where he discussed the upcoming animated series Creature Commandos. While Gunn focused mostly on the series, he also spoke to fans about other upcoming DC projects, including Superman, which he wrote and directed. The film stars David Cornsweet as Clark Kent slash Superman and his rap principal photography. During the panel, Gunn spoke about his experience working with Correspondent and praised the actor for his performance, especially regarding his ability to work. He's the movie star everyone dreams of. I don't think anyone really understands the depth of this man's talent both dramatically and comedically. He's the best physical action star I've probably ever worked with. Gunn made the above statement via The Hollywood Reporter, implying that Corrence Witt was not only a better movie star, but also a better action star than any other actor he's collaborated with in the past. Gunn's comments won't go down well with die-hard fans of Henry Cavill, who many believe is the perfect mold for Superman. Furthermore, unlike Corrin Sweat, Cavill has a solid track record in action films, having appeared in Mission, Impossible, Fallout, and Argyle. Even though Cavill is the biggest and most proven action star, he has never worked with Gunn. As a result, the DC Studios president's comment about Corrin Suit being the better action star still stands, though it may be annoying to some Cavill fans. During the same event, Gunn also shared an update on Superman, confirming that the film has reached post-production, with editing work continuing on the highly anticipated project. However, Gunn added that while editing was progressing well, the trailer was still some time away. It won't be long before we see a trailer, but it won't be too soon either. Gunn mentioned the above, suggesting that fans will likely have to wait a while before seeing the first official footage from the film. Considering that the film was still being edited, it's safe to say that a lot of post-production work remains despite Gunn confirming that the rough cut has been completed. Furthermore, the shots will also require heavy visual effects before the trailer can be locked. So, Gunn's comments about the trailer's timeline are understandable. However, with the release date of summer 2025, the trailer couldn't be too far away. Superman star David Cornsweet has received the highest honor of praise from James Gunn ahead of his DCU debut next year. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. Finally, James Gunn's new DCU comes with updates from several projects that have emerged. The DC Studios co-president Cavill was born in Jersey, the largest and southernmost of the Channel Islands, which are dependent territories of the British Crown and are located off the coast of Normandy, France. He is the fourth of five sons of Marianne Cavill, née Dobliesh, a secretary, and Colin Cavill, a stockbroker. The family lived in St. Helier, where Henry Cavill grew up playing computer games with his brothers. At age 13, he left Jersey to attend the Stowe School, a boarding school in Buckinghamshire, England. At Stowe, Cavill developed an interest in acting and participated in school productions, including Grease, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and Tom Stoppard's Dog's Hamlet. At age 16, he and his classmates had the opportunity to be extras in the movie Proof of Life, 2000, starring Russell Crowe. While on set, Cavill introduced himself to the recent Oscar winner who encouraged him to pursue acting professionally. 
Cavill soon landed a role in Vendetta, 2001, followed by another in Kevin Reynolds' big-screen adaptation of The Count of Monte Cristo, 2002. For the part of Albert Mandigo, Cavill, who has said that he was teased for being overweight as a kid, was encouraged to lose several pounds. In addition, Cavill had guest roles in a number of British television shows as well as supporting parts in the coming-of-age film I Capture the Castle, 2003, and an adaptation of the Celtic romance Tristan Plus a Sold, 2006. During this period, Cavill auditioned for several iconic roles, including Superman and James Bond, which ultimately went to Brandon Routh in Superman Returns and Daniel Craig in Casino Royale, both 2006, respectively. Those setbacks led him to consider following in the footsteps of two of his elder brothers and joining the armed forces. In 2007, however, Cavill garnered his first leading role in The Tudors, a cable series following the exploits of Henry VIII, played by Irish actor Jonathan Rhys Myers. Cavill portrayed Charles Brandon, a loyal courtier to the king. The series helped make Cavill a familiar face, and during its four seasons, 2007 to 10, he also appeared in such films as the adventure fantasy Stardust, 2007, and the Woody Allen comedy Whatever Works, 2009. After the Tudors, Cavill proved his skill as an action star, playing Greek hero Theseus in Immortals, 2011, and the son of a CIA agent, played by Bruce Willis in The Cold Light of Day, 2012. In 2011, Cavill announced that he had been cast as Clark Kent slash Superman in Man of Steel, 2013. He later admitted that he had missed the call from director Zack Snyder offering him the job because he had been playing the online game World of Warcraft. To portray the Man of Steel, Cavill transformed his body, adding so much muscle that he sometimes split the seams of his Superman costume. He also had the opportunity to work alongside Crow, who played Superman's father, Jor-El. Cavill went on to reprise the role in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016, starring opposite Ben Affleck as Batman, and in Justice League, 2017, featuring such DC comic book heroes as Wonder Woman, played by Israeli actress Gal Gadot. In between Superman films, Cavill starred in director Guy Ritchie's big-screen adaptation of The Man from UNCLE, 2015, playing a CIA agent who teams up with a KGB agent, played by Army Hammer, and in Sand Castle, 2017, portraying a Special Forces captain on a 2003 tour of Iraq. Cavill then played the main antagonist in Mission, Impossible, Fallout, 2018, the sixth installment of Tom Cruise's Mission, Impossible series. In 2019, he assumed the lead role in the hit Netflix series The Witcher, based on the novels by Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski, whose sources include Polish mythology and Slavic folklore. Cavill played Sherlock Holmes, the elder brother of aspiring sleuth Enola Holmes in the movies Enola Holmes, 2020, and Enola Holmes 2, 2022. In 2022, Cavill had a cameo as Superman in Black Adam, renewing speculation that he was planning a return to the role five years after Justice League. Cavill confirmed the rumors in the fall, but a couple of months later he wrote on Instagram that the studio had decided to go in a different direction.